Hello, this is Bytes English. And today we're going to talk about education, which has become an important aspect of people's life. So we normally ask and talk about education while socializing in order to get to know a person. You can discuss it everywhere, from parties to academic or job interviews. That's why in today's lesson we'll role play three different social situations when you talk about your education. The first one is very serious, as Malika is going through university admissions interview to be accepted in the university of her dreams, and of course I'll be a decent and absolutely unbiased admission director. Would you say you're a good student? I think so. I'm pretty good at meeting deadlines, and I'm keeping up with my studies. Plus, I find it quite easy to learn things by heart, which is useful when learning. Okay. What about your English language fluency? I took an intensive course at a local private language school. I attended classes three times a week. What other courses have you taken, either at school or outside, and what have you learned from them? Mm, I was doing a master's degree in crossways and cultural narratives, which was a bit of a challenge because I had to work my way through university. So I was very busy. Hey, Jamar, are you leaving? The party's only started. I know, but I have to revise for my literature exam. This is my last exam before graduation. Oh, don't tell me that you never cheat. I don't actually. I hope I won't fail, though. Uh, of course you won't. I'm sure that you'll pass it. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Goodbye, my nerdy friend. Bye. Quite a lot of information. You seem to be good at revising things. Why don't you revise the vocabulary we've learned in today's program? And I'll share some curious information I found for this episode. Okay, we had meeting deadlines, keeping up with studies, learn things by heart, take an intensive course, attend classes, do get obtain a master's degree in, revise for, cheat, fail, pass, nerdy. What information you've been talking about? I found out about ancient Greek education in Sparta and Athens, which mainly form today's educational institutions. Athens was the main educational, intellectual and cultural center of ancient Greece. The main purpose of education in ancient Athens was to make citizens trained in the arts and to prepare them for both peace and war. It was aimed at the cultivation of the students' physical, mental, and moral qualities. A sound mind in a sound body. Exactly. Children's education in ancient Athens consisted of three main courses, grammar, music, and physical education. What about Sparta education then? Ancient Sparta's education was formed in such a way in order to create soldiers' citizens. Children in ancient Sparta were taught self-denial, discipline, and simplicity. These two cities are also mentioned in the records of the Peloponnesian War, which was an ancient Greek military conflict fought by Athens against Sparta. Athens stood for democracy and Sparta for oligarchy, though they fought as much for economic reasons of trade. Sparta eventually won the Peloponnesian War. Athens was never the same again. This is the end of today's program. You'll find some more information on education on our Facebook and VK pages. So, from all of us here at Bite Says English, thanks so much indeed for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.